My name is Adere Madigite. Uh, I'm an in interdisciplinary artist from Nigeria. Uh, I primarily use photography and video in my work. But then I'm doing installation and I'm also interested in performance arts. And um, well, um, I have done document, I, I started with documentary photography and since I've, I've, I've changed my style of uh, presentation in terms of um, using photography in my work. So photography now, instead of being like the primary or being the focus of my work, it's more like a material that I use when I'm, when I'm using photography. It's more like a material that I use in my work to actually tell a bigger story. So I am not really interested in using pictures from the point of view of portraiture, like portraiture or choosing landscape and all of that. Now I need a lot of images to actually say one thing. <laughs> so um, I'm picking from different events. I'm using images from magazines, both contemporary magazines and old magazines and newspapers and found images on the street and also using images from family archives because my work um, now focuses on families and memories. So um, I'm, I'm really, in, in, really interested in using old images and new images and put them in dialogue to see how they really relate with themselves and how both of how the integration can actually uh, start a new discourse, so to say. It is interesting to think about the language, the, the, the visual language that one uses in his work. As for me, um, I don't think I have preference for uh, any way that I want to go to. It could be photography, it could be video art, it could be installation. I, I, really, don't, I, I really don't think that I have to be focused on a particular language. It, it just... I, and I think that that's because, um, well, it is allowed to speak two, three, four languages, you know, depending on how, I mean, as a normal person, depending on how you are proficient in these languages. And, that, well, I will say really that I don't have a preferred language, even though I tilt towards photography a lot because... Um, I think there is still a lot to be done, you know, in that area for me. But also, at times, photography could be very limiting. You know, that's the reason why I, I said that I don't like, I'm not interested in making portraits of people or landscape or something. You know, I'm much interested in how portrait, portraiture and landscape and and different kind of events coming together to tell a particular story, how they relate with themselves, you know. But in video, you think that, oh, you have the capacity to really explore, to really tell the story, you know, on a different way that photography might not be able to tell. Because what is important is, uh, is the presentation of your work. How are you presenting the work, even if it is photography? How are you presenting it? If it is video, how are you presenting it? Some video can be very boring, discussing issues, you know. Um, like some people will say it's, it's, it's video art, but it's a docu, docu video. And you are like documentary video and video art are the same. There's that discourse also, you know. So <laughs> for me, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, I, I just follow my intuition. You know, it depends on how I'm feeling and which medium I think that will be the best to really um, express what I really want to say. I 
became an artist um, as as a it was something that I really wanted for myself. I was actually in the uh, literary art. I was a writer. I was organizing a lot of literary art event and um, it was a tough decision you know that I think I need to find a new medium that I can use to actually express myself you know no it wasn't that someone told me that I have to do it it wasn't that um, I went to a school to actually study visual art you know I'm a self-taught uh, visual artist it was a decision that I made by myself and um, and I started, and I keep you know developing myself through research, through reading, through you know a lot of things you know that could enhance uh, my knowledge in in, in visual arts um, um, circle. My uh, site-specific, one of my site-specific um, projects is called Ori. Um, Ori is actually talking about um, the spiritual essence of the person. In Yoruba, Ori means the head. But then in this work, it's actually not talking about the head. The physical head is talking about the spiritual head. And uh, I did that work in collaboration with uh, an architect from Australia. And it was a, a very rigorous research that we have to visit Babalawo, we have to visit uh, traditionalists, various traditionalists doing different things. And uh, from our research, from what they told us, was how we came up with this uh, presentation, which of course questioned how the uh, contemporary Africans relate with nature, because uh, religion have become a, have become a very problematic. Um, uh, I, I think um, I, I I should say it like this: a religion has become a problem on the traditional religions, and then. Uh, nobody wants to go or have anything to do with the traditionalists. But then, what they are running away from is what they use in their day-to-day -day act activities. Like for the most of what they use for sacrifice is what we also eat in our homes. So in this exhibition, we wanted to show that you can connect with your spiritual essence on a personal uh, uh, as, as on a personal level, and also. Um, also present to people that, you know, most of these things that you uh, think that is fetish are actually things that you eat and, you know, you, you are familiar with. So for me, I, I, I really find that uh, installation very interesting and how, because it's something that teach people, you know, something. And that is how I really like to work, you know, because I don't want... I'm not interested in the aesthetic, uh, in the only in the aesthetic essence of my work. I'm also interested in what my work could teach people, what people could learn from the work, what they could take away from the work. Not just oh, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, and all. Of, I'm not, I'm not um, an artist who is carried away by the aesthetics. <laughs> in fact, I say to a lot of people that I don't create beautiful images, which is very ironic in a way. Mm -hmm. 